when we talk about the real estate market in india it is categorized into three basic parts which is commercial residential or the land when we talk about all these three commercial residential and the land they are then further subdivided when we talk about residential or commercial they would be divided in parts as in whether it is a new property new property is as in directly by the developers or it is from the resale market resale market as in the secondary market when we talk about the land land is agricultural land or the plotted development when we talk about the plotted development offered by a builder that is where investment can be made however when we talk about agricultural land or plantation land such kind of land cannot be purchased by a, an nri or a pio so the only restriction which rbi has uh, given to uh, given is that nris and pios cannot buy agricultural land now and any any nri account uh, any nri can buy the property through the nro or nre account only all the monies which is used to buy the these properties has to come through the nri or nro account and or 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 it or there is a fc nr account as well so the real estate wherein the money is been put in be it the commercial be it the residential be it uh, plotted development can be acquired by either by direct purchase by inheritance or by gift or a nri can buy a property from another another nri also if it has brought as per the pro proper procedure of the as per the rbi rbi guidelines the law mainly governing the nri nro purchases are the guidelines of reserve bank of india and the fema guidelines for an exchange management act has certain rules which govern the purchases made by the nris see when we talk about the legal due diligence it's not just for nris it would it would be it would be for people staying in india as well but yes it becomes more important for the non resident indians who are staying very far from the country majority of the times these nris either depend on the promises which are made by the seller seller as in can be a direct seller or can be a developer or a builder and or else they depend on their uh, relatives or friends or whosoever back here in india so in that case the legal due diligence becomes very very important when we talk about legal due diligence it again have two aspects the first is when i am i as a nri am buying a property directly from the developer or am i buying a property from the secondary market so if we are buying a property from the developer today a real estate regulation act being in place it is not difficult to find out the authenticity of a project so not much of exercise or legal due diligence need to be done when you are buying a property directly from the developer however if you are buying a property from the second secondary market this can be a flat in a rwa this can be a independent house it can be a independent shop or whatsoever in such a case the, the uh, legal due diligence is very important starting from basic as as small as the taxes of the property the electricity bill water bills mutation whether the seller is the actual owner if there is any litigation that is pending for that particular property all these aspects need to be taken into consideration if you are buying a property from the secondary market when we talk about property from the primary market in that case uh, you can definitely do a re uh, legal research or legal due diligence through the concerned authority under which that project falls or you can also have the information from the concerned real estate regulatory authorities website as well so again when we talk about the documentation process in case of a new project the there is no specific need of getting into details of land maps and other things the first and the foremost important is whether the land is being owned by the developer or not 
for that purpose you need to contact the authority or you can you can get it checked through any uh, local advocate or a or a, or, a, or a real estate professional who's dealing in that project that is one second whether the approvals has already been taken or not today is not the market where you have to invest in a soft launch project a project which is just on map or a project which is not yet started do not invest in such a project when we talk about the secondary market as i said starting from the validation of the sale deed which through which the person is selling it to you the validation of the mutation whether he owns owns or not and if there is any pending litigation all these need to be checked in secondary pro, uh, secondary market properties again if you are buying a flat which is in a group housing society you need to check whether the property has been registered or not e- either you are selling it on the builder buyer ag- either you are buying it on builder buyer agreement or you are buying it after the registry has been done in both the cases the documentation process will change if you are buying it from on a builder buyer agreement itself and the registry has not been done then process would be that first builder buyer agreement need to be changed and post that the registry will be done in your favor in case of registry already been done the registration will directly be on your name through the seller power of attorney can be given to a blood relative or a very close relative or to a legal representative and the legal representative can be a chartered accountant or a or a or an advocate this power of attorney need to be executed in Uh, presence of the oath commissioner of the concerned embassy so if someone is in us you need to get the power of attorney drafted and then get it attested in the embassy of uh, india in 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 us send it to the concerned people back in india that need to be stamped in the concerned authorities office then it can be used put to use for getting the property transferred purchase or sale there are do not differentiate between nris or uh, pios or the indian citizen uh, the law is for for all the home buyers any home buyer or a um, uh, or a property buyer can can seek uh, mediation or file a complaint and seek the desired relief through uh, real estate regulation act uh, authority